Hello everyone, welcome to Code Conio. For today, we are going to discuss about um, MySQL numeric functions. So MySQL numeric functions are functions that are used for handling calculations on numerical data. Now, I will just like to give you some of the mathematical or numeric functions that uh, we can use in MySQL, but uh, there are some that are that cannot be used in doing or performing calculation within our records. So particularly on the greatest and least, because again, we have a separate discussion on that, which are aggregate functions. But for now, to get, uh, give you an idea, so let's say we have here, we want to know the greatest function or the greatest value among all numbers. So we have here four, 5, 19, 10, 2, 3, and 1. So obviously this will give us a, uh, this will give us 19 as the greatest or the highest value because again, uh, the function greatest is going to return the, the highest element based on the list of arguments, not based on the, uh, based on the data or based on the row of our pet. Uh, I mean, based on the row of our tables. So in fact, if we're going to use greatest in like determining the value for, let's say highest or the greatest value of our price from DBL pet. So we, that is not actually allowed because again, this is going to only return among, uh, among all the elements that are in the arguments or in the list. So it's not going to read the entire list per uh, all of the records of our table. So again, we have a separate function for that, which is we call it an aggregate function. So for, if you want to know the, uh, on the other hand, we use list to know the lowest or the minimum value or the least, no, or the lowest value among all the uh, among all the numbers in the argument list. So we can also have like uh, pi. So let's say select pi. And so as we all know, pi is uh, three point fourteen. So we can, along with our our price, we can actually like just for I don't know. So we can actually use it along with our SQL statement using a, by selecting a table. So we can do that like that. So uh, by list, we also have um, random. Okay, so we also have random, okay, random, random, say by 10. But this is this will give us point uh, decimal times ten. This will give us uh, any value. Okay, uh, it's not actually randomized, giving us randomized value. Okay, and then let's we also have power or pow. Pet. Let's say pet price. Pet price. Um, raised to the power of two from. TBL pet. So there. And then I guess you can combine. Let's say for an instance, you have here raised to the power of five. So let's say three na lang. Three. There. And then if you want to combine the format, so power, price, and then by two. This will give us two decimal places only with, uh, of course, currency type. Okay. And what else? We have um, floor, round, square root, and abs, okay, or absolute value. So let's say um, floor, floor value of rand, let's say 10. Okay, 10 by, let's say 10 by 10. So this will give us a, uh, a random value. Uh, actually, it's not actually giving us a random value, but from one to 10. Okay, 
and uh, for round we can also use round to round up the value so let's say round pet price from pbl pet there so it's rounding it to uh, the value from it, it it removes the decimal point we also have square root i guess so let's say we are going to return the square root of uh, pet price so that's the square root of pet price and again you can combine it with format or round or round it, it's up to you so we have your format square root of pet price comma let's say two this will give us a um up to two decimal places or the, or the square root of the result of pet price square root of uh, pet price square uh, square root of pet price with uh, up to two decimal places so i guess that would be all for numeric functions and there are actually a bunch of numeric functions you can use so for now um, just familiarize those things that uh, i have shown you and you can also explore other things okay thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day bye bye